Now with the news that Dinosaur here at Animal Kingdom may be getting a re-theme to Indiana Jones, I thought it would be cool to come out here and do a ride by ride comparison between our dinosaur here at Disney's Animal Kingdom Park and the Indiana Jones ride at the Disneyland Park in Anaheim, California. I'm going to do a full ride through. I'm going to uh, describe them both. I'm gonna let you see them and let you compare them and let you decide, are you ready for Indiana Jones to take over Dinosaur? Or you wish it would stay like it is? Come with me, I got you. Let's go do this. So with the announced possible retheming to Indiana Jones, the questions are, is Dinosaur really gonna go away? Are they gonna turn it into Indiana Jones? Is it gonna be the same Indiana Jones that it is at uh, Disneyland? Considering these are both the same ride systems, all it would require is a re-theming, but would they make it exactly the same? Would they make it different? I don't know, but today we can check out Dinosaur as it is now, and we can check out Indiana Jones for a side-by-side -side comparison as it is right now at Disneyland. Come with me, let's go do it. say that as impressive as it is to come in here and see a full-scale uh, carnosaur fossil standing here towering over you, the line cue comparison between Dinosaur and um, Indiana Jones at Disneyland is not a comparison. <laughs> Checked in and in line for Indy. You probably guess I'm pretty excited. <laughs> inside a pyramid or a temple and it's just super cool really puts you in the Indiana Jones mood and as someone who loves a good adventure American Vintage Adventures I can't wait to do the Indiana Jones adventure Jones going on an adventure. You see skulls, skeletons. It looks like you're climbing down in an ancient dig. It definitely wins on the ride queue. So if that is something that you're thinking of, if, if they come and redesign and build a line queue like that, that's almost worth the price of admission itself. I'm a little bit biased between the two because I am a huge Indiana Jones fan and I would love to see this whole area turned into like a Indiana Jones and like the Lost Continent type of thing, like the, the uh, Lost Island 
where we could have mythical animals like unicorns and maybe like Pegasus. We could work in a Hercules ride over here. So I'm all for the re-theme. That doesn't mean I don't like dinosaur, but as far as the, the line queue, there is no comparison. Hello there. Welcome to our little trans-dimensional joyride, folks. I'm Dr. Seeker, your friendly controller and a heck of a paleontologist, if I do say so myself. But let's not talk about me, let's talk about you, and how you can help me make history today with the Time Rover. It's like this. If I can bring you back from the Cretaceous period, it stands to reason that I can bring back a live dinosaur with you. And not just any dinosaur. Take a look at this guy. He's an iguanodon, and I'm certain that he is the key to understanding these magnificent creatures. I tagged him with a locator during an unauthorized field trip. Otherwise, I'd be traveling with you. Right now, our dino should be about here, at the very end of the Cretaceous period. That's where you're going today. I've arrived, it seems, just in time to correct a little misstatement. Dr. Marsh. That is impossibly close to the giant asteroid impact that destroyed most life forms on Earth. We were just talking about seatbelts. Plug them in, use them. It can get kind of choppy out there, so keep your hands and arms inside the vehicle at all times. Flash photography? I wouldn't. It alters the homing signal and that's not good. Oh, and one more thing. Those live coordinates? We're in. Now, here's the drill. You follow the homing signal to the iguanodon, then I'll enlarge the transport field and boom, you're back with one additional passenger extra large. And don't worry about that asteroid. You'll be in and out of there before it even breaks the atmosphere. Trust me. What could go wrong? That's the pre-show here. It's Sala with Indiana Jones. Comes to seek out a miraculous journey. You and your transportation devices are ingenious pouches for safekeeping all earthly treasures when the journey becomes a And to be safe and sound, here are special roads attached into the seats. Simply pull it from the right, inserting it into the left, like so. You see the excellence of this invention. Your off-road journey is high speed and turbulent, going over rough and rugged terrain, and then suddenly you are turning sharply and rubbing suddenly. It is unlike anything you have ever experienced, I assure you. Grab the iguanodon and get out before the asteroid hits. Let's roll! Let's go get that dino. Computer, what are you tracking? Styracosaurus. Not our dino. Warning, meteor shower in range. Just little one. Oleoramus. Hadrosaur. Raptor. Time to get serious. Locking autopilot on homing signal now. Hang on! That was close! Computer, now what? Carnotaurus. That's it! Abort mission! Abort! Abort! Iguanodon. Forget it! Get them out now! Asteroid impact. Brace your... Please gather personal belongings from the pouch in front of you. All right, I have no idea how much of that you will be able to see because it is so dark in there. And when you see the Indiana Jones version of the ride, you will see that there is just a lot more to actually see in there. It, it actually feels like you're doing something, you're going through something versus just getting shaken around in the dark um, and a lot of dinosaurs just dark 
that's it. it you, you just can't see where you're going. Um, I think the Indiana Jones version is superior, but why don't you check it out right here and decide for yourself. All right, here we go on the Indiana Jones adventure. Buckle up. Just got off the Indiana Jones ride and wow, that is, the track system is the same as Dinosaur at Animal Kingdom at Disney World, but the rides are nothing alike. And I mean nothing. This is every bit of thrill ride, as fast as it goes and drops and turns and then the sets are light years better. It is a really, really fun ride. I do wish Indiana Jones himself was in it a little bit more. But that's the only kind of thing that I can nitpick. It is really like, got my breath. I, I'm not even sure how much of it I'm going to be able to show you guys recording because it moves so fast in there. But. So what do you think? How do you feel about Indiana Jones versus Dinosaur? Are you looking forward to the possibility that Indiana Jones may be replacing Dinosaur here at Disney's Animal Kingdom Park? I personally think that the Indiana Jones ride is head and shoulders better than our dinosaur ride here. I know that's probably going to hurt some feelings out there, but it's just no comparison. You, you, the, the sets, everything you can see versus riding through the dark and seeing a couple of uh, black light dinosaurs jump out at you, to me it's no comparison. The ride queue is no comparison. I hope they retheme it to something like they have at Disneyland. Um, I think the Disneyland version is so much better. I love Indiana Jones. What could be better than that? But tell me what you think in the comments. And if you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. It really does help me out. And until next time, <clears throat> I'm getting all choked up. <laughs> until next time, this is Chase with American Vintage Adventures saying have a great ABA day, and I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.